Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering break, continue and go to statements in C. Guys, I have uploaded complete C language subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is a break statement. This break statement is loop control statement. That means if you want to break any loop, then you need to use this break statement. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is this break statement. Now I'm using break statement inside for loop. I want to print numbers from 0 to 9. So here I took for loop. Inside for loop I written int i equal to 0, i less than 10, i plus plus. And in order to print these numbers from 0 to 9, I need to write here printf 0, 1, 2, 3. All these are integers. So I written here printf percentage d comma i because all these values are present in variable i so i written here printf percentage d comma i by writing this program i will get output as at first it will take value 0 0 is less than 10 condition is satisfied so it will print 0 here i written i plus plus so again it will increment value that is 1 1 is less than 10 condition is satisfied so it will print 1 again it will increment value now it will take 2 2 is less than 10 condition is satisfied so again it will take 3 3 is less than 10 condition is satisfied so it will print 3 like that it will print up to 9 numbers 5 6 7 8 9 9 is less than 10 so it will print 9 and again it will increment value that is 10 10 is not less than 10 10 is equal to 10 so it will break this condition up to 9 so it will stop this loop now here i am using break statement if i equal to 4 break and you need to give semicolon for break that means if i get i value as 4 then i want to break this loop this is meaning of this if i equal to 4 break whenever i write this at first it will print value 0 again it will print 1 2 3 and 4 whenever it reaches to 4 then it will break this loop so by writing this program that is if i equal to 4 break then i will get output as 0 1 2 3 4 this is my output this is program for break statement i am starting loop and inside this loop i am writing condition in order to break the loop like if i equal to 4 break so inside for loop i am writing condition to break the loop if this condition is true then it will break the loop else if condition is false then it will continue this loop this is flowchart for break statement next i will explain continue statement this continue statement is same as break statement only difference is that break statement is used to terminate the loop whereas continue statement is used to continue the loop i will give one example so that you can clearly understand what is continue statement in this program i given condition that is if i is equal to 4 then i given condition as break so by writing this program i will get output as 0 1 2 3 4 but here in place of break if i write here continue by writing this program i will get output as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 in continue if i reach value to 4 it will continue the loop so by writing this program i will get output as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is my output whereas in break if condition is false then it will continue loop and if condition is true then it will break the loop but whereas in continue if condition is false then it will continue the loop and whereas if condition is true even though it will continue this loop same example if i reach value to 4 it will continue the loop so if condition is false then it will continue the loop and if condition is true even then it will continue this loop so this is program and flowchart for continue statement guys whenever break statement question comes in exam you can also write switch statement example because in switch statement also we use break condition so you can also write switch statement as example next i will explain go to statement if i write any program by using go to statement then that program is very hard to understand and modification of that program is very hard so any programming language do not recommend go to statement this is syntax of go to statement at first you need to write go to and you need to write label label is nothing but any text any name is known as label it should not contain any keywords so at first you need to write go to label and label contains some statement i will give one program so that you can clearly understand what is go to statement this is program for go to statement at first you need to write go to label is nothing but any plain text here i am giving any text like college i given label as college and definitely you need to give her semicolon now you need to write label and label contains statement here i given label as college so you need to write here college colon statement is nothing but i am writing statement as printf my college by writing this program i will get output as my college here at first i didn't go to i given label as college so this college contains statement that is my college so by writing this program i will get output as my college this is flowchart for go to statement here at first i written label one this label one contains statement one and similarly label two contains statement two and label three contains statement three after that i written go to label three that means it will go to label three label three contains statement three so whatever the statement 3 that this label 3 contains i will get this statement 3 as output 
for example if i write here go to label 2 then whatever the statement that this label 2 contains i will get this statement to as my output this is flowchart for go to statement guys now i will explain c program in order to print this float table by using go to statement here total i need to take two variables one is for this number 4 and another one is for number 1 2 3 4 up to 10 for example i will take variable name as number num for this number 4 and i will take another variable that is for number 1 2 3 4 up to 10 for example let, let variable name be i so here i am taking two variables one is for number 4 and another one is for number 1 to 10 so here you need to write int these both are integers so here i need to write int number equal to 4 comma here i value starts from 1 so here i need to take i equal to 1 now we will write go to statement at first i am taking label let label name be table you can also take any label name here i am taking label name as table give colon now write printf percentage d into percentage d is equal to percentage d this percentage d is for number that is number 4 and this percentage d is for variable i and this percentage d contain result result is nothing but number into i semicolon at first you need to write 4 into 1 equal to 4 after 4 into 1 you need to take 4 into 2 after 2 3 after 3 4 like that you need to write up to 4 into 10 equal to 40 so here we keep on incrementing i value like 1 2 3 4 up to 10 so here you need to write i plus plus now give condition here you want to print 4 table up to 4 into 10 equal to 40 so here you need to give condition that is if i value is less than or equal to 10 that is from 4 into 10 if i value is less than or equal to 10 go to table here i given label name as table so here you need to write go to table semicolon by writing this program you will get output as 4 into 1 equal to 4 4 into 2 equal to 8 4 into 3 equal to 12 like that you will get up to i less than or equal to 10 that is 4 into 10 equal to 40 up to 4 into 10 equal to 40 i will get my output this is how we print tables by using go to statement for example if you want to print 10 table then here in place of 4 you need to write 10 that's it this is how we print tables by using go to statement this is important question like in exam they may ask like write 5 table by using go to statement so whenever that question comes in exam you need to write this program